Здравствуйте, здравствуйте, леди и джентльмены, дамы и господа. You're watching Real Russia Channel, the deepest insight into the real Russian life with no fake and no... Yes, no bullshit. My name is Sergei Baklyakov and behind the camera Nikolai Kritsky. Say hi. 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 <laughs> okay. So, uh, believe me or not, but it's really a 22nd of March 2016. I guess March forgot that it's spring. But, you know, this is uh, just, I uh, believe, the final comeback of the winter into the March. Well, this is vlog, vlog number four, a kind of videos that I have started from the beginning of this year and that's uh, the kind of videos where I can telling about the things which I usually can't in my regular episodes of Real Russia uh, because uh, the normal episodes of Real Russia usually dedicated to any certain theme certain subject and there's just no place for this but here I can and so here today actually two uh, announces announcements the first announcement is that i'm gonna show you how is the uh, remodeling in my new apartment going i was you know uh, promising to do this and the second announcement is that i want to say now i've done with enough of funds to go funds to go to the saint petersburg to the northern capital of russia and uh, possibly will go there or this week on Friday or next week for sure and I want to say thanks so much to everyone who supports me with this thanks so much really together we can do more and now let's go to look at how is the upgrading and my new apartment in this uh, brand new residential buildings going it's you know Richard Zorge street it's uh, the street in the city center of Ufa the capital of the Republic of Bashkortostan where I live and let me tell you now while we are going to the hallway that Richard Zorge was a German but he worked for the Soviet Union he was a spy and in the years of the Second World War he you know uh, investigated he was in Japan and investigated that the Japan is not going to open the second battlefront and attack the Soviet Union. He made sure about it, the Soviet Union government and Stalin, with a you know calm in his soul, focused all the army to protect, to defend the country against the nazis and when i talk about nazis i mean nazis i don't mean just a normal germans who richard zorgi was okay in the first video where i was showing you my new apartment i was telling you that you know this street door of the main hallway is closed now it's opened and here even already an intercom that's how it looks like intercom in russian we call it demophon from the words dom house and phone actually phone but let me also to open the secret that in all brand new intercoms there a standard code you know star cage star cage three uh four two three zero let's get inside Well, that's the place where the concierge will sit in. The place for concierge. There will be uh, the concierge who will control who are coming. Uh, that's how is the post boxes looks like and where I live. You know, the postal uh, box office post office boxes. Now let's go to look at the elevator one is not working yet and one is working come on this is a chinese elevator made of xinyang sanyo elevator company it can take up to 1000 kilograms and 13 persons here it's covered in a frame which is made of such wooden sticks and this wooden uh, frame covered with the wooden boards uh, that's made to protect it from so many people moving their furniture and the construction materials and here we can see already 
how many advertisements from the workers. You know, the remodeling of apartments, you know, sanitary technical, swaddler, uh, demolition works, the garbage removal, what else? The garbage of the, uh, the demolition of the walls. And, you know, here they have their own, you know, competition. Let's say uh, sometimes they, you know, cross each other advertisement and uh, writing that this is a shit. Competition on a local level. And a few words about a buttons. Well, here is kind of comfortable and big buttons. And, you know, with a, a special font, if I can say so, for a blind people, you know, so they can write, read what uh, the floor it is. Uh, through the sensitivity through their finger that's for a blind people and if you will stuck in the elevator you can call to the dispatcher and call the rescue that's it well and now let's look at the apartment itself Now we are getting inside of the hallway directly on my floor where my apartment located and first that we can see is already how many construction garbage is here. This is all mostly the bags from the mixture for plastering, uh, the glue for a ceramic tile and that's it. And when everything will be finished I will have to remove it all myself because you know in Russia the managing company when they charge the utility bills uh, they do not consider removal of this type of garbage. You know food waste, uh, the bottles, things like that, yes, but not a garbage like this. I will have to remove it all myself for my own money. Because, and I will do this because, you know, you have to remember from the very first episode that I'm not a dirty jackass. Okay, now let's get inside of the apartments. Let me remind you that from the very beginning, it was just a big gray concrete box. There was nothing but just a gray walls. And now we can see that uh, the main stage of uh, the remodeling made. I talk about the plastering. Now we can see that absolutely all walls are flat and white. So the plastering is finished. And uh, here we can see how it was going. In some places we were need such a huge layer of the plastering. Actually here two layers. The one main layer and so-called finishing layer that makes the walls pure white. Not only flat, but pure white. And look at this white color. Actually this is a physics that the white color reflects the light and um, the space is always seems bigger. Now let me show you the bathroom. Here completely finished the ceramic tile. Look at this. The ceramic tile. And this time I decided to choose uh, quiet colors. Beige and uh, brown. With the two elements of decor. Decoration, decor, you know. This is a coconut. I'm in love with the cocoa. <clears throat> and uh, such a house on the background of the mountains in a, you know, kind of Eastern style, Chinese style. The tubes are hidden under the box, which is made of uh, the drywall, drywall material. And here is also made the access uh, control panel. Uh, from here we can get an access to water counters. And uh, here the sanitary tubes is also hidden uh, in a wall because we drilled the holes there and hidden it all there. And so what about the tube for Unitas? It is also hidden under the box made of drywall. Same as there in a second uh, bathroom or to say the room which is supposed to be the second bathroom. Because I want to say thank you very much for all of your recommendations. But finally I decided to stop and making this a wardrobe and the tubes are hidden under the box made of drywall as well. 
Now, what about the electricity? It was completely rebuilt because I want to have as much rosettes as I want and in a places that I want they to be. Everything starts from here and then goes mostly by the ceiling, by the roof. Why? Because uh, at this time here I will making so-called suspended ceiling. It's when they stretch the ceiling with a special warming gun. If you're still not sure what I mean, Google it. Suspended ceiling. And so that's why mostly the cobbles here goes by the ceiling. And we drilled the channels for a cobbles only in those places where it was really neat. Let's say here. You see cobbles goes mostly by the ceiling and only here we were making, we were drilling the holes and hidden all the cobbles here. And uh, that's what I'm talking about, why I decided to rebuild it. In every room I have, let's say, the rosettes for a TV boxes where I can connect internet for smart TV, usual standard cable TV and the power. Uh, two rosettes, one for a TV box itself and one for a sound bar. Now, uh, what about the kitchen? Uh, you probably remember that I wanted to remove this part of the wall here, but uh, finally refused this idea because, you know, uh, the budget for your remodeling is always uh, bigger than you plan and now just don't have and extra money for this, for removing uh, these parts of the wall, for removing the window and making a continue of the kitchen to the balcony. So, what's next? Next is the ceiling. Actually, here almost everything is already uh, done for it. This is uh, the lamps. So many lamps will be here, a little lamps and the floor. Now the guys, right now the guys are making everything to clean it, then they will fulfill it with a so-called self-leveling floor. So now the guys are working on it. And after that, the floors will be easily, easily flat. And after that, we will place a laminate. It's here, waiting for its time. It's laminate class 33. Eight millimeters and that's it that's it then uh, we will change the door here will be another uh, street door and we'll place uh, we'll set up uh, the room doors and actually now what you can see is in Russia consider it as a good but kind of standard remodeling and that's the remodeling, uh, remodeling that in Russia making the most of people, the most of people. So definitely it's not the designer's, uh, you know, solution or so, but just a normal standard uh, remodeling. Okay, guys, stay tuned and keep watching Real Russia, the deepest insight into the real Russian life with no fake and no bullshit. In my turn, I will continue making my best to show the daily life in Russia in my regular episodes of this show and just updating you about what happens around in my vlogs. You never forget to comment, like and subscribe also. My name is Sergey Baklakov and behind the camera Nikolai Kritsky. Yep. And now I will take a shower and I don't think that Nikolai have to show this. So See you.